I knew a man one time that had more friends than anyone else I've ever known. Friends that were quite different. Friends that uh, uh, you wouldn't think that he'd be friends with, and yet he was not only an acquaintance with these people, he was close. He said to me that his friends were like a garden. And I wrote down some notes. I'd like to share it with you. It may be helpful to think of people in our lives as flowers in a flower garden. For instance, do we have a friend that's quiet, shy, unassuming, but in whose presence we feel a sense of peace, a, a quality of the soul that's hard to define? Do we have such a friend that needs to be given special attention in order to fully enjoy this person? Perhaps he's best enjoyed when no one else is around. If a violet is blossoming beside a stately iris with its showy color, the violet would probably be completely overlooked. Like the rose, another friend may have a showy appearance, the coloring may be delicate or brilliant. However, on close contact, you might find some thorns along the stem. What are you going to do about all these different kinds of friends? Give your attention to them, or do you just look at the ones that seem to have the lovely blossom? If you want the rose in your bouquet, you can protect yourself by carefully handling, even wearing gloves. The beauty of the rose that it has to offer, your banquet is more than worth the trouble. Dear God, we give thanks for every kind of person in our friendship garden. We give each one the freedom to be herself or himself, just as we ourselves want freedom to be ourselves. And we pray that our garden is constantly expanding, constantly becoming more beautiful to our soul and to our life. In Jesus Christ's name, amen.